Good evening and welcome to the May 2020 Fine Arts Awards Ceremony. Um, we wish that we could have had a banquet with you before this, but since that's not possible, um, we are pleased to be able to announce the awards virtually for you tonight. We will start by celebrating our students involved in honor band and honor choirs throughout the year. Each year, we encourage our highest achieving music students to attend honor bands across the state of Iowa. Students are accepted by audition or nomination, and they receive their individual music parts to practice in the weeks leading up to the honor festival. Then our student musicians travel to another school to rehearse their part with hundreds of other band or choir students from around the state under the direction of a guest conductor. We are proud that this year, these West Liberty students represented our school and our community with poise and professionalism. Congratulations to the students who attended these honor band and honor choir festivals this year, and we hope that they will inspire other students to apply for honor festivals in the future. River Valley Conference Honor Choir, October 2019 at Tipton, Atsiri Aragon, Damon Fight, Yairai Fiverio, Reynolds Heath, Maddie Long, Kennedy McNall, Laura Millage, Bianca Sanchez, Jet Lee Tamalonza, Cameron Wurzbacher, and Daniel Zeman. The River Valley Conference Honor Band, November 2019 at Monticello. Amanda Cruz, flute, Daniel Zeman and Ashley Barahona, clarinet, Maddie Law, bass clarinet, Laura Millage, trumpet, Reynolds Heath, trombone, Daisy Berkey and Tyler Closure, euphonium. The All-State Honor Band in November 2019. Daniel Zeman, clarinet. Daniel was our first band student accepted into All-State uh, since the year 2011. The University of Dubuque Honor Band in January 2020. Rachel Ayer to clarinet. Kaylee Oakes, bass clarinet. Kiara Lieb, saxophone. Cameron Wurzbogger, very saxophone. Kelly Wilkins and Terrence Salinas, trumpet. Emily Burke, tuba. Charlie Thrasher, percussion. The Iowa State University Honor Choir, February 2020. Laura Millage, alto. The University of Iowa Honor Band, February 2020. Leo Garcia, trumpet. Both the St. Ambrose Honor Band and the Grandview Honor Bands scheduled for February and March have been canceled but we would like to recognize those students selected for those opportunities. They were Beatrice Goldberry, Amanda Cruz, Ashton Burroughs, Daniel Zeman, Joshua Zeman, Laura Millage, Raquel Eman, Nettie Sassmaser, Tyler Closure, M. Norris, Reynolds Heath, Carla Velasco, Holly Malik, Nico Garrido, Victor Romero. Congratulations to all of the students who participated in Honor Band and Honor Choir Festivals this year. This year, Voices Unlimited Show Choir participated in several competitions that took place over the winter. Um, the first one we were supposed to attend was West Branch's Saturday Night Jive, but unfortunately it was canceled due to weather. So uh, we actually ended up holding a virtual Saturday Night Jive event um, online where we raised money for their program because it's a very big fundraiser. We raised over $600, which is awesome. Uh, they awarded both Ms. Ashley Smith and me, Ms. Mallory Valentine, a Star Performer Award, so we're very happy about that. Uh, we also attended Cedar Rapids Prairie's Prairie Premiere, where we received a participation award, which honestly we were pretty proud of because we were against uh, a lot of 4A schools there, so it was a tough competition and they performed very well. Uh, we also uh, performed at I IHSMA State and received a Division I performance. Uh, we, following that, attended the Indianola Show Jazz Encounter, where we received first runner-up in 3A during the daytime, and we also attended Marion Masquerade. Congratulations to all of our students that participated in Voices Unlimited this year. We had a great season, and we're really proud of all the work you put in. The West Liberty Comet Jazz Band um, this year participated in several festivals across the state of Iowa. Jazz band festivals do not generally release placements beyond third place. However, we feel that we had a successful, educational, and enjoyable season, which included performances at the following festivals. The IHSMA State Jazz Festival in January, 
where we were awarded a Division II Excellent Rating, the Co College Jazz Summit in February, and the SEBA Jazz Festival in March. Musical ensembles are organizations in which all students are equally important. We are one team, and there are no bench warmers or starters. There's no JV or varsity. We count on each and every student in order to sound their best. Each year, students recognize and support each other by voting for two students from each grade level who have shown the most musical improvement and progress throughout the year. These could be students who took on a new voice part, learned a new instrument, joined a new musical ensemble, made improvements in sight singing skills, or helped the students around them in order to serve the music program as a whole. These are students who are significantly responsible for the band and choir's continuing musical progress and improvement. Since classes are no longer in session and we were not able to have peers vote for most improved musician, Ms. Valentine and I have selected the following students and we would like to congratulate them as this year's most improved performers. Choir, ninth grade, Christopher Palma and Ty Miller. Band, ninth grade, Beatrice Goldberry and Carla Velasco. Choir, 10th grade, Alina Perdue, Benjamin O'Donnell, Bianca Sanchez. Choir, uh, band, 10th grade, Nico Garrido, Benjamin Haskell, and Benjamin O'Donnell. Choir, 11th grade, Candy Tamagonza, Jet Lee Tamagonza. Band, 11th grade, Madison Clyer and Natalie Schmidt. Choir, 12th grade, Holly Malik and Brian Collins. Band, 12th grade, Keaton Mather and Edwin Sassmizer. For our 12th grade most improved performers, we are pleased to send you home with a most improved musician certificate, which you may pick up this week when you come in to um, clean out your locker and drop off the rest of your school belongings. Each year, students in the West Liberty High School band and choir have the opportunity to earn a varsity letter for their musical accomplishments by earning enough varsity points. Varsity points are awarded for attendance at concerts and competitions in addition to participation in extracurricular ensembles or honor festivals. Students who are lettering for the first time will receive a Chenille Varsity Music Letter. Students who have earned a letter previously will be awarded a gold bar to add to their letter. This year, we are holding all varsity points for students in grades 9, 10, and 11 and applying their earned points to next year. Students who are graduating seniors this year and would have earned enough varsity points to letter if school had not ended early will receive their varsity letter tonight. Seniors who are lettering for the first time receiving a Chenille Varsity Music Letter are Denise Arroyo and Holly Mellick. Seniors lettering again receiving a gold bar are Emily Burke, Daisy Berkey, Brian Collins, Amanda Cruz, Brandon Harris, Maya Garrido, Tyler Closer, Maddie Law, Cooper Lovell, Keaton Mather, Kennedy McNall, Holly Mellick, Laura Millage, Jared Neubauer, Evan Sazmazer, Cameron Watford's father, Kobe West, and Kelly Wilkins. At this time, we would like to honor the graduating class of 2020 with a slideshow celebrating their achievements in the band and choir programs this year.
we are pleased to present the following senior awards. The Instrumentalist Magazine Merit Award is in recognition of outstanding contributions, leadership, and service to the instrumental and vocal music programs. For choir, the Instrumentalist Magazine Merit Award goes to Cameron Wurzbacher. Cameron showed exemplary leadership skills in Voices Unlimited this year as dance captain. He showed patience, good communication, and a positive attitude. The Instrumentalist Merit Award um, for band goes to Tyler Kozier. Tyler has made incredible progress as a musician and leader over the past four years. He initially joined Color Guard because he didn't like carrying a heavy marching baritone on the field. And we discovered that he is not only a very talented guard member, but a patient and reliable teacher and leader. He has been an excellent role model this year in marching band, jazz band, show band, and concert band. The Instrumentalist Magazine Musicianship Award is presented in recognition of outstanding musicianship and distinguished musical excellence. In choir, this award will be going to Maya Garrido. Maya shows incredible dedication to the choir program. She is always focused and present in all rehearsals and always works her hardest to improve and sing her best. Maya has shown great growth in her time in the choir program and sets a great example for those around her. The Instrumentalist, the Instrumentalist Magazine Musicianship Award for Band will be going to Amanda Cruz. Amanda is never satisfied, and that makes her an incredible musician. She constantly pushes herself to achieve higher levels of musicianship than many of her peers. It is through her hard work and self-motivation that she has become a gifted performer, and she aspires, inspires those who have the opportunity to listen to her play. The National School Choral Award is the highest honor for high school choral performers. It recognizes the dedication and musical achievement of the top choral students. This year's recipient of the National School Choral Award has been involved in choir for the entirety of their high school career. They have also been a committed member of Voices Unlimited and Vocal Harmony. This student participated in RBC Honor Choir for several years as well. They have been a committed leader in every choral ensemble in which they have participated often offering help outside of rehearsal. This person is always going above and beyond, trying new things and helping the students around them. This year's recipient of the National School Choral Award is Maddie Law. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Award was inaugurated in 1974 with the consent of his widow shortly after this great jazz artist died in 1971. It is presented in recognition of outstanding achievements in the field of jazz, as demonstrated through superior musicianship, character, and individual creativity. This year's recipient has been a member of the WLHS Jazz Band since eighth grade. In that time, they have willingly and enthusiastically learned and played a variety of different instruments just to help the overall balance of the band. These have included piano, saxophone, clarinet, and trumpet. This student began their junior year in jazz band as a fourth trumpet with a limited ability and range, but a very positive attitude. And then through dedicating hours of her time outside of school to practice, this year, she, she served the band as a musical leader, leader. This year, she served the band as a musical leader in the role of first trumpet. I will never forget the day that she sat in my office and explained to me that although she thought she might not be the smartest student or the best musician, she knew that by being the hardest worker, she could achieve great things. She was right. Please join me in congratulating this year's Louis Armstrong Jazz Award recipient, Laura Millage. The Arian Award was established in 1948 to give national 
recognition to junior and senior class members chosen by their schools for outstanding achievement in band, orchestra, or chorus. <clears throat> Students who receive Arian Awards attain both academic and community standing. Selection for the Arian Award is based on an individual's contribution to his or her scholastic standing and musical organization and demonstration of exceptional personal and professional performing ability and musicianship. This award is sponsored by the West Liberty Aquarius Club. This year's recipient of the Arian Award is someone that is heavily involved in just about every possible fine arts activity, from choir to vocal harmony, to show choir, to band, to musicals, to speech. They are one of the strongest leaders we have ever had at West Liberty, and provide a great example to other students on how to be a positive, hardworking, responsible member of a music ensemble. This student is always willing to help whether or not they are asked to, and they do an incredible job of supporting all their peers in a positive manner. They clearly have a true dedication to music and the music program. This year's recipient of the Arian Award is also Laura Millage. The John Philip Sousa Band Award is the pinnacle of achievement in a high school band. Introduced in 1955 to honor the top student in high school band, the John Philip Sousa Band Award is presented in recognition of outstanding achievement and interest in instrumental music for singular merit in loyalty and cooperation, and for displaying those high qualities of conduct that school instrumental music requires. This award is sponsored by the West Liberty Aquarius Club. This year's Sousa Band Award recipient truly exemplifies the description of this national award. Loyal, cooperative, disciplined personal integrity, and superior achievement and interest in instrumental music. This student has been a critical member of every ensemble offered by the band program at WHS, routinely performing under a lot of pressure at Voices Unlimited, as the Voices Unlimited show car pianist or color guard soloist. During her free time, which isn't a lot, she can always be found maintaining color guard equipment and taping flags for her fellow guard members to use. Over the summer, she taught herself trombone just so she could serve in the jazz band as fourth trombone this year. She is a true performer and outside of school has been a serious piano student and dancer throughout her high school career. She will be pursuing a degree in instrumental music education at UNI next year, where I know her curiosity and passion will lead her to amazing success. She will make an incredible band director one day. Please join me in congratulating this year's John Philip Sousa Band Award recipient, Holly Malik. At this time, uh, we invite you to help us congratulate our student leadership personnel for the 2020-2021 academic year. They are as follows. We know that this has been a very difficult and strange way to end the school year. And uh, from Ms. Valentine and myself, we can say that we really miss your students. And we miss seeing you and making music with you. But we are so pleased to celebrate you and to congratulate you on all of your achievements this year. Thank you for joining us for the 2020 Fine Arts Award Ceremony. <laughs> 